welcome to Wednesday's Pilates. And so as always, let's try to tune into our body as we think about our posture and how we control our movements today. So we'll start with a bit of body stepping, your feet together in the centre of your mat, and your toes out and your heels to meet just after this position. So three points of contact with the ground. That's your big toe, heel and little toe. So start by just pressing your big toe through the ground. Add the pressure through the heel, and then just add some pressure through the little toe feeling your arches open up slightly. Make sure you've got a nice soft knee. We're just going to practice a few pelvic tilts. So that's sitting up and out and tapping your pelvic bone down. All while keeping this upper body really nice and still, relaxing our neck and sit bones. Once you've done a few of those, just try and hold it in your belly and engage through your abs. So drawing in towards your belly button to hold your abdominals on. Keep your ribs nice and relaxed. Going to open up through your collarbone, sit nice and wide, think about lengthening through that collarbone all the way to the tips of your shoulders, just like a smiling face. Just be lengthening through your neck, so the whole way through your spine, imagine someone's pulling you up from the crown of your head, lengthening all the way up. Right, let's get started then. So first of all, we're going to do toy soldier. So palms together, one hand's going to reach up above, whilst the opposite knee's going to bend forward. And we're just going to switch. So you're rolling up and onto the big toes as you're alternating which arm to reach up to the sky. Keeping the torso really still, that nice wide open collarbone engaged through our abdominals. And we're just rolling over our big toes, opposite arm, opposite leg. Remember your nice controlled breath in and out through your nose. Nice. So really reaching with those hands, just bending the knee and rolling over those big toes. Just warming up these legs, warming up the shoulders. Really nice. On the next one, we're going to pause. And what we're going to do this time is drive that knee up. And then as we switch the arms, you're going to point the leg behind you. So drive the knee up, point away. As you lengthen it behind you, really engage through your abs so that you're not losing that lower back, you're not sticking your bottom out. So draw through your abs so it's your leg going behind, not your lower back arching. Remember those nice deep breaths in and out through your nose. Remember that nice strong torso, not bending. Good, on the next one, hold your knee up. And we're just going to pulse it there, just from the knee, the trunk staying really nice and still. Good, switch to point behind and just pulse there, but really strong through your trunk as you do this. Good, and relax. Switching to the other side, so drive the other knee up and then point behind. Maintaining that balance, looking forward, keeping that really nice still torso. Breathing in and out through your nose, helping you stay relaxed. Really good. Good, reaching with that knee, pointing with the toe. On the next one, hold the knee up. We're just going to pulse there again, keeping really still through your trunk, just pulsing that knee. Point behind, and again, pulse there. Really strong through your trunk. Good, and relax down. So we can repeat what we just did, or you can go with me where we're going to hinge at the hip. So you either do what we just did, point behind, or do the hinge with me. Okay, so opposite arm and knee up, and then you're just going to stick your bottom out, lengthen through the legs, and drive back up again, just hinging through that knee, through that hip, keeping the knee as straight as you can. Keeping that pelvis square to the mat. Nice. Your back should stay really nice and strong. It's just hinging from the hip. It should be flat, level with the mat, and then just going up to upright again. Good. Really stick that bottom out. Try and keep that leg nice and straight. It can bend a little bit, but make the main movement hinging from the hip. Try not to rotate as you do it as well. Keep that pelvis nice and square to the mat. Good, on the next one, hold the knee up, and again, pulse there. Good, 
hinge down, so it pulls the thumb to the ceiling, then holds the foot to the ceiling. Good, and come and back up, really nice. Switching sides, so again, you can do the knee and point behind for the hinge rhythm. And let's go. Good, trying to control that balance. Really nice and controlled, smooth movement. Just hinging from that hip, driving the knee up. Really good, nice balance. Keeping square and controlled. Nice. Remember to use your breath in and out through the nose. Really good. Keep that balance, keep the hinge. Okay, on the next one, we're going to hold the knee up and drive the knee. So pulse it there. Good, hinge down, pulse the thumb. Good, then pulse the leg. Good, come back up. Really nice. Woken up those hamstrings and our posterior chain. Okay, we're going to do a spiral roll down. The mat work part of this session. So keep your bottom tucked in, plank your chin to your chest, and roll one vertebra down at a time. Good, all the way down, and we're going to start with toy soldier on our front. So level one here, hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. Lift your chest away from your hands, and you're just going to swing one arm above your head and above your glutes. Okay, level two. You hinge on your knees, so nice straight line from your knees, hips, shoulders, keeping that chest high, and again, swinging the arm. Level three, you come into a straight arm plank, and same motion. Okay, I'm going to do level two with you guys, so pick your level, one, two, or three. Inhale to prepare, to lift that chest up, lengthen the neck. Exhale to engage your abs, and let's go. So really drawing that belly button towards your spine, engaging through those abdominals. Nice. No rotation or shifting at the pelvis. Looking straight forward so your neck's nice and long. And let's reach with the thumb as high as we can and the little finger as high as we can. Really get the range here. Keeping that chest bone high away from the mat. Strong through your pelvis. Really nice, well done. Let's go for five more on this side, keep high. Really good. Good, no rest, put your hand down and we're going to go straight to the other side. So keeping that chest bone high, keep the breath nice and controlled in and out through your nose. Really good, well done. Reach with that thumb all the way up, reach with the little finger all the way up. Keeping that chest bone high, nice long neck. Draw that belly button towards the spine, keep those abs on. Keep strong through that trunk. Really nice. Okay, five more, reach the height on these five. Get that thumb up, little finger up. Two. And relax, good work. We're going to come fully down onto our front now. So forehead on the ground. We're going to do breaststroke. So level one of this, keep your forehead on the ground, palms facing your body, and you're just going to squeeze your little fingers up and in towards the ceiling. Level two, lift your chest bone off the mat, but keeping that neck nice and long, and you're just going to do the same action, little fingers towards the ceiling. Level three, Engage your belly button towards your back, then squeeze your glutes, hold your legs up, and same action with the arms. And level four on this one, you same position, but you do breaststroke arms, so reaching above your head and coming round so your palms are facing each other again. Okay, so level one, forehead down, level two, chest up, level three, LBA, legs, level four, breaststroke arms. I'm going to do level three with you guys. So inhale into position. Exhale, let's go. So really nice, wide open through the collarbones. Nice and high with that chest bone, keeping that neck nice and long, looking straight down at the mat. 
pulsing those little fingers nice and high into the air, really working the back of the shoulders and the back of the arms. If you're doing level three and four, really feel that belly button towards your spine, engage through those abs. And then squeeze your glute and lengthen the legs nice high and away. Okay, everybody pulls at the top and we're just gonna pulse those little fingers up now. Really get the height, how high can you get those little fingers? If you're doing level three and four, squeeze your glutes, how high can you get those legs? Nice relaxed breathing in and out through your nose. Really squeeze, 10 more. Good, control, keep open. And relax down, good work. Right, we've got one more on our front, which is the one leg kick. So here, level one, hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips, and you're just gonna drive the heel to the ceiling, then the toe. So it's really working those glutes. But make sure we're really drawing our belly back in towards our spine, so we're using our hips, not arching our lower back. Level two, tuck your toes under, lift the knees just off the ground, and same action, heel, toe, heel, toe. Level three, you go into a straight arm plank, bring that knee in and you drive heel, toe, heel, toe. So pick your level, level one knees down, level two with me, knees just lifted, level three straight arm plank. Let's inhale to prepare to lift our chest, lengthen our neck, exhale into position and let's go, heel, toe. So keeping really strong through that trunk, drawing the belly button towards the spine. Keep that heel bent in so there should be a 90 degrees bend at the knee. Shouldn't be straightening it away like that, so keep the bend as we pulse. Really squeeze that bottom and get that heel up, get the height, heel, toe. Let's go for 10 more, come on. Let's squeeze for this, get the height. Five, get the height, come on, squeeze. And relax down, good work. So you're gonna go straight onto the other side. So again, level one knees down, level two knees up with me, level three straight arm plank. Inhale to lift the chest, lengthen the neck. Exhale into position. Let's go, heel, toe. Be strong through that trunk. Maintain the breathing. Really keep that bend in the knee. And we're going heel, toe. Get the height, really squeeze up. Nice. Let's go for those 10. Come on, go for height. How high can we get it? Eight more. Five. And relax. Really good work. Well done. Right, we're going to continue to work on our glutes, but do it on our back. So, the first one we're going to do is a glute bridge. So, hands underneath your shoulders. Feet nice and close into your bottom. Level one, you're just going to hinge from your hips, squeeze your bottom up, hinge back down again. So you should get to the top where your knees, hips and shoulders are in one nice line. Level two, oh that was level two, sorry. Level one, you do that on your elbows, so that. Level two, the one I just demonstrated, from your hands. Level three, you go to single leg, so we hinge up control down. So I'm going to do level three with you guys. So level one onto your elbows, level two straight arms, level three with me, single leg. Inhale to open your collarbone, lengthen the neck. Exhale, let's go. Really nice, squeezing that bottom, hinging up and down. Get all the way up, so really squeeze as high as you can to get those shoulders, hips and knees. In a nice long line. Good, let's go for five more. Get the height for this five. Control the breathing. Two, come on really high. And relax down, good work. We're gonna go again, so level one and two, repeat what we just did. Level three with me, we'll go to the other side. Okay, inhale, open the collarbone, lengthen the neck, exhale, let's go. All the way up, that knee, hip and shoulder, should be one long line. Breathing in and out through the nose. Looking straight ahead. 
Good. Get the height. Come on, all the way up. Five more. Squeeze at the top. Come on. And relax. Good work. Right, we're going to do one more on the glutes before we go on to the abs. So we're going to do a shoulder bridge. So here, your knees are bent up, feet down, neck nice and long, collarbone open. So you're going to tuck that pelvis under and roll one vertebrae up at a time, jaw up at the top and lengthen one leg away. That's level one. Level two, you go out and in. Level three, you draw a box with your big toe. Okay, spinal roll back down again. Let's go. Okay, so tucking under. Roll one vertebrae up at a time, squeeze that glute, lengthen one leg away, and as you do it, don't let your pelvis shift. Level one, hold. Level two, out and in. Level three with me. Let's go. Let's draw a box. The foot that's on the ground, really push through the mat. Keep the height, keep the height of the hip. Really squeeze nice and high. Remember to relax your breathing to help relax your upper body. Keep the height, keep engaged through your abs, but keep the pelvis level. Okay, if you're doing level three, switch the direction of your boxes. Level two, switch to going up and down. Level one, keep the height. Really nice, keep pushing through the ground, squeezing that glute. Five more boxes. Good. Three, two, one. And spinal roll down. Good, we're going to spinal roll straight back up again, so tucking under, roll one vertebra at a time, squeeze at the top, and we're going to lengthen away the other leg. Level one, hold, level two, out and in, level three with me with the boxes. So I'm really focusing on pushing my foot through the ground to keep my hip nice and high, engaging through my core to keep my pelvis level, and breathing in and out through my nose to help relax my upper body. But keep the height, really push into the ground, get the height. Nice. Okay, switch direction. If you're doing level three, up and down. If you're doing level two, level one, keep the height, keep pushing. Really nice. Okay, five more boxes. Let's go five. Keep the height, come on, really push up. Three more. Foot down, spinal roll back down. Really nice, well done. So we're going to stay on our back. We're going to use our abs now. So we're going to start with an overhead reach. So palms together, hands above, above your chest. And coming into tabletop. Engage your belly button towards your spine. Level one, as you reach overhead, you tap your heel to the ground. Level two, you tap your heel and lengthen away. Level three, Lengthen out the other leg and you tap and straighten. Okay, so pick your level. I'm going to do level two. Let's lengthen through our neck, open through our collarbone, engage through our core, and let's go. Let's focus on that breathing, nice relaxed, in and out through the nose. Make sure that neck's nice and long, sliding the crown of that head to the top of the mat. Engaging through those abdominals, so not letting that pelvis shift or rotate. Really drawing your belly, toward, that belly button towards your spine. Really nice, well done. If you want to make level two a little bit harder, just push the other knee away a little bit. Not quite straight to a level three, but just drive it away a little bit. That will put a bit more load through your abdominals. But you've got to make sure you still feel it in the front. Not in your lower back, it's all about working these abs. Let's go for five more. Really good. Nice. Okay, we're going to go straight onto the other side, so back up to tabletop. Pick your level, inhale to prepare. Exhale, let's go. So I'm doing level two again, might go to a 2.5 towards the end. Put a bit more load through those abs. Really reaching nice and high above the head, keeping your upper body nice and relaxed with your breathing. But keeping that lower body really nice and strong, 
pull that belly back towards your spine. Really nice. Good. Make sure that head, that crown of that head is moving towards the top of the mat. Keep that neck nice and long. No poking your chin out in towards the ceiling. Want to make it a little bit harder. Straighten the other leg away a little bit. Let's go for five more. Re-reach. Roll that belly button in. Two more. And relax down. Good work. We're going to go on to the oblique prep now. So level one, keep your feet on the ground. Level two, we're up to tabletop. Take your right hand, palm facing up, your left hand behind your head, and you're going to draw an imaginary diagonal line from your hip to your shoulder. Then we're going to lift that chest bone up and roll over that imaginary diagonal line. Okay, so level one, feet down, level two up to me. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, let's go. Lift that chest bone up and over. Really reaching as much of your back off the mat as you can. Reach that chest bone all the way up and fold it all the way over, reaching with that hand. Try not to pull your head that your hand's on, it's just there for support. So keep a nice long neck, reaching that chest bone high and over. Good. On the next one, we're going to hold at the top. Let's go for 10 pulses, really squeeze for these 10. How high can you get? Five, come on all the way up. Two, and relax down. Good work. Let's switch over. So right hand behind our head, left hand straight, palm facing the ceiling. Level one, feet down. Level two, knees up. Draw the line the other way. Inhale to prepare. Let's go. Exhale, up and over. That diagonal line, really get the height. Come on. Reaching up and over that diagonal line. Using your breath, try not to hold your breath. It's really easy to hold your breath in this one. Make sure there's a nice constant flow in and out through the nose. Really good. On the next one, hold at the top. 10 pulses, let's go. Come on, really reach up and over. Six. Squeeze these last three. And relax down. Good work. We've got one more ab one. And that's the leg kicks or oh, it's a lean one so this is the reverse crunch type one so our legs are up like this level one palms down facing the mat level two palms up level three over your chest and we're gonna roll a vertebrae up and then slowly roll our vertebrae down so lifting one vertebrae up at a time lowering one vertebrae at a time so really nice and controlled on the way down okay inhale to lengthen the legs lengthen your neck exhale let's go Good. You can use your arms to help you, but just don't let that bottom just drop. You've got to really slowly control it down. Use your breath to help you do this. So no holding of your breath. Nice, relaxed breathing in and out through your nose. Smooth that control down. Lifting up. Really nice. Five more. Let's control these last four. Come on. As you get tired, don't let yourself just drop. Three more. Good. Last two. Good. One more. You've got this. Control it. And relax. Good. Nice little ab blast there. Right, we've got one on our side, and then we're going to stretch. That's it. So it's a side crunch. So to do this, we're going to go onto our knees and popping over onto our hand, reaching our arms up. Level one, you slide your foot whoop, on the mat to get your elbow to your knee. Level two, you lift that leg and drive the elbow to the knee. Level three, you go into a side plank, lift the leg, elbow to knee. Okay, so I'm going to do level two with you guys. So onto our knees, dropping over. Inhale to open your collarbone, lengthen your neck. Exhale into position and let's go. Drive in, lengthen away. Really keep that trunk nice and still, that you're getting the elbow to the knee and really reaching away, pointing the toes, wiggling the fingers to get the length. Nice. Drive in, lengthen away. Keeping that leg nice and high if you're doing level two or three. Using your breath to help control 
that movement. So nice flow in and out through your nose. Good, on the next one, hold long, pulse up, drive in. So long, pulse up, drive in. Really good, well done. Keep that nice long spine. Try and get the height of the leg. Good, let's go for five pulses. Come on, get the height of these. Then five drives. Three. Good, back to pulse and drive for four more. Three. Last one. And relax down, good work. We've got one more on the other side and that's it before we stretch, okay. So pick your level, level one and two, starting on your knees, level three into a side plank. Okay, dropping over, hand reaching high, inhale to open the chest, lengthen the neck, exhale into position and let's go. Good, really driving the knee, reaching the toes and the fingers. Nice. Reach away, driving in. Really well done. Driving in, reach away. Good, keep the height, keep the control through the trunk. Nice long neck, focusing on the breathing. Okay, next one, hold out wide. Bring your pulse up, nice. And pulse. Let's get that leg all the way up. Come on, pulse that leg high. Feel it in your glutes. It's a bit of your core, but it's a big one in your glutes, this one. Okay, hold out wide and pulse for five. Good, drive for five. Good, let's go back, pulse and drive. Five more. Let's go for high. Last three, come on. Two, really reach. Last one. Make it a good one. Good, well done. Nice little bum burner to finish there. Right, we're just going to do a little bit of stretching and bring that breath rate and heart rate down. Okay, so we're going to come into kneeling and step one foot forward. You're going to tuck that bottom under by squeezing your glute, using your ab to pull up. And just hinging forward a little bit. Feel a stretch there. Lift that arm up. We're just going to take some nice, slow, deep breaths here. In and out through the nose. Really nice. Keep drawing those abs up. Keep squeezing that bum to get the stretch at the front. But most importantly, let's get our pulse rate, heart rate down. Good. We're going to switch to the other side. The other leg forward. Squeezing that belly up, squeezing the bottom, and lengthening that arm up. Relaxing those breaths. Really squeezing through your glutes, reaching up. Good, nice relaxed breathing. Allow yourself to relax down. Good, coming down into sitting. We're just going to stretch out those glutes. So onto our back, put our right foot on our left knee and hug underneath the thigh and draw it in towards you. Try and keep that knee out and feel a stretch at the outside through there. But whilst we're in this position, nice, slow, deep breath. In and out through the nose. Use the exhale to pull yourself a little bit deeper into that stretch. Feel a little bit of a greater stretch. Good, placing your foot down, switch sides, go left foot onto right knee, hugging underneath that right thigh, and just tuck it in. Again, nice relaxed breath, in and out through the nose. Use that exhale to pull in a little bit deeper into the stretch. Good, one more breath. 
Good. When you're ready, come in, sitting. We're going to do a spinal roll up. So gently straighten your legs, tap to bottom under, and roll one vertebrae up at a time. Good. Deep breath in and out. One more. Good. And shake it off. Well done. See you again on Friday. Hopefully it's 12.30. Bye-bye.